we are back. I am not in my usual setup. I'm in my mobile fortress, but we're doing double uploads, and I don't know why. I just, I feel like enjoying recording Showdown Lives again. I, I really like being able to sit down and just play the game and yap to you guys. Um, and I mean, like, I also really struggle to get my practice in, so... We're gonna start a, I don't know, we'll just, I don't know if it's gonna be a series, but we're gonna be laddering up my Latino Nito Reno account. Go ahead and put like, I don't know, who's who's the most Latino guy on this list? Uh, we'll go with, uh, uh, I'm sure there's someone up there, but we'll go with you, Clay. Clay's like, I'm pretty sure Clay's Japanese, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... I just built this team off camera really quick. It's an idea I had for um, Porygon 2, and it's in, it's in, it's inspired by a few different things. Um, at the Louisville Regional Championships, uh, Wolf Glick ran a fast Porygon 2 with Terra Blast, and I thought that'd be interesting uh, next to, like, Ursaluna. So you have, like, this soft Trick Room mode with, like, Torkoal and stuff. Um, but beyond that, uh, the team also has, like, Scarf Charizard and... It's it's almost like I put Wolf Glick and Joe UX 9s teams in a blender, and then threw Ursa Luna on there. Well, I guess Wolf Glick Wolf Glick's teams also had um, Ursa Luna on it, but I just felt like trying this out. Um, I built it in like 10 minutes. I'm sure there are different things I could do to optimize it, but the main idea is you have a Jack Pack Torkoal with Drought, Overheat, Helping Hand, Protect, Heat Wave, um, Scarf, Terrifier, Charizard, and. Um, Actually, can I modest scarf you and get away with it? Probably 167 when I, I can probably get away with modest scarf. I don't know why I'm running timid. Cause yeah, I'm not speeding everything with modest scarf anyways, and I, I'm gonna have tailwind up too. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't I don't want to like lose out on damage, but uh, yeah, basically the idea is you do like the Torkoal jump bluff or you got on two stuff with like you know safety goggles can gambit. Uh, or you can just go hard trick room, or you can throw Porygon two on the jump bluff team or on the jump bluff version of the team. Uh, and click <laughs> plus one Terra flying Terra blast into things, which is really scary. So we're gonna try it out. I mean, like I have I have done literally zero testing with this team. I just threw it together, and like conceptually it should work, but um, I haven't worked out all the kinks yet. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I mean, what do I even name this team? Um, Fast P2 Sun. All right, yeah. We're also gonna be playing best of three today because people always ask like Marcos, why don't you record best of threes? Uh, it's because I feel like um. I feel like best of one makes for better showdown content, but if people want best of threes, I'll play best of threes, you know? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I want like a dedicated laddering series where I just like try to get to account up on, try to get an account up on best of three, but I just like never actually have time. To, why do you only have five Pokemon? Right. This channel is partnered with Gamersups. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamersups through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTED at checkout for 10% off. Gamersups is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. All right, whatever. What is my ranking on best of three on this account? It's not that low. It's like not high, but it's not low. 1271 and this guy's only got five Pokemon. What's going on? All right. So we see Safety Goggle, King Gambit, Swords Dance, Argument, Terra Flying, Terra Grass, AV, Incineroar, um, Regenerator, Amoongus. Uh, I mean, like into this team, the um, Jump Love Torkoal Charizard does go hard. We can just throw Porygon 2 on there. That's probably going to work out just fine. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's do this thing. Let's do this. I'm currently house sitting for my sister, so I'm working. I'm working from home away from home, you know? One of the few instances I'm not cooped up in my apartment, I'm cooped up in someone else's. All right. They go ahead and lead off. Oh, I'm not drought. Wait, am I? Where's my son? Where's, where's my son? Does drought activate? Oh! Wait, I remember. It's broken on Showdown. It's broken on Showdown. Drought's supposed to activate first. Oh, that's so stupid. Why doesn't it work the right way? Okay, that's annoying. Um, And there's Safety Goggles King Gambit. I suppose I can lock them into... Ah, oh, man, that's annoying. I'm supposed to have my son up. 
Oh, why did I choose to record the team with like the broken stuff? Okay. Um, Charizard, sure. Okay. Let me think. Into this. I mean, I they're just gonna fake out me. I can't sleep powder them is the issue. I can go Torkoal right away. Um, and attempt a heat wave. It's not gonna work out. I'm gonna get faked out. But <laughs> that's so annoying. Oh my god, I forgot about that. I don't know why it does that. I don't know. It's stupid. Am I correct about that? I remember maybe I'm stupid. Maybe maybe if like the intimidate user's faster, the drought won't activate. But I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Like I'm like 99% sure. Also my solar power. Yes, I am. And I this game is cursed. This is a cursed game if I have ever seen one. All right, I am now unfortunately in sucker punch range. So let's overheat and go into jump off. Okay, now encore you and go Charizard. This is a very cursed game. I'm, I'm really annoyed with how this is starting off. <laughs> I would have just taken out the King Gambit ASAP and we would have been good. Some of you guys might be wondering why Charizard over um over Hisuian Typhlosion? Honestly, just because I I like that Charizard has stupid damage output. And consistent damage output at that, you know? Alright, come on. Knock off KOs me. They're stuck clicking protect. I do now have Terra Flying P2, but I'm not sure how I beat the King Gambit. Let's go ahead and Tailwind. Terra Blast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how I beat this King Gambit, man. <laughs> um. Also, maybe I'm done. Maybe the Torkoal's supposed to have speed investment. I always forget, like, the old version of this team had, like, speed investment on the Torkoal, I'm pretty sure. Alright, that doesn't quite KO. We're gonna get not. Oh, U-turn, okay. There's the Chomp. Ice Beam, we outspeed that thing and we one-shot it, and I can go for the um, Sleep Powder onto you. Nice one-shot here. That speed investment on P2 is so clutch. It's so clutch. The only issue is there's a full health King Gambit that we have to use Torkoal to beat. And the Torkoal's at 67 HP. Alright. Um... Go... Uh, I can probably go Torkoal where Jumpluff is and just go for uh, Terra Blast damage here. Because they should try to target down the P2. They go for that. Torkoal, do you eat plus two? Si you eat plus two. You totally eat plus two. I'm going to go into Jumpluff in case I need a Tailwind and I'm going to go for the Overheat. You're Torkoal, man. Your Torkoal. Oh, uh oh. Well, that's not good. Uh, they can just sucker punch me, is the issue. <laughs> Sleep powder. Have to go for overheat. Yeah. Uh, this is a really cursed first game. Okay, let's try that again. This time we won't literally have every bad thing happen to us. Turn one. Uh, okay, so I can into this. I probably actually want Ursa Luna just to not lose to that King Gambit so early. Um, I mean, Torkoal's still really good. It's just the lead that's difficult. I think I still lead Torkoal. But this time I bring Charizard on lead because I actually don't get too much out of Tailwind in this matchup. Bring Porygon 2. 
I don't even bring jump fluff, I think. I think I, I want the Ursaluna, actually. Uh, then I have, like, a huge weakness to this guy. Maybe we just adjust our leads. We just adjust our leads. Yeah, that was annoying. <laughs> that was really annoying. Turn on the timer. Yeah, I, I really like Swords Dance, Safety Goggles, um, Terra Flying King Gambit. It's like a really solid pick right now uh, into balance. It's very easy to be in a situation where the Swords Dance safe. And even though you don't have like the immediate damage or the um, damage reduction of the Black Glasses, Dreadplate, or Assault Vest, uh, just the safety of not having to be put to sleep or redirected is like really useful in a lot of games. It's definitely taking his time. But we also saw the immediate uh, payoff of Terra Flying Speed Investment P2 under Tailwind. Because it doesn't take that much speed investment, actually. Like, you're still Porygon too, right? <laughs> you're still Porygon too. You still live, like, everything because you can max out your HP. Um, but with that speed investment, 95, actually allows me to outspeed. It's not just uh, Garchomp. I'm actually outspeeding, uh, what's it called? Sneasler. I don't have to worry about Sneezer outspeeding me and going for close combat. I can just Terra Blast it. You know, it'd be really messed up if they gave Porygon to Expanding Force in this in this gen. I'd be broken, actually. Okay. Um. I want to click something evil. I don't know how much this is going to do, but I think it's going to be really funny. Helping hand overheat. Helping hand terrifier overheat is actually probably pretty safe. Just to KO Garchomp immediately. I know my Garchomp got one shot when this happened to me in a tournament, so I'm pretty confident. Yeah, get him out of here. Hyper voice. Is that dumb? Might have been a little dumb. Mm, not really. I can just go jump fluff right here. They're going to sucker punch me on the right slot. So jump fluff P2 is actually pretty safe. Just keep Torco alive. Neither of these guys take too much damage. Um, I do have the option to sleep powder the right slot. Or not the right slot, the left slot. Um, I think I do just go for the sleep powder here. And I go right back into Torkoal. Because I can threaten overheat onto King Gambit. And they probably don't Katow me. They probably Katow the left slot. Now locked into Encore. Okay, not Encore. He's not locked into Encore, but now I can Encore him lock. I can Encore lock him into that. And I do have Overheat into this slot, which is really useful. Uh, if they go Incineroar, it's still pretty okay. Because look, they have two options. They either lose the King Gambit or they get locked. Yeah, and then I just get in my Charizard. Or my P2, either one. Uh, Charizard's probably a little better. Well, actually, if I miss the sleep powder, I lose. Let's see. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm stupid. All right. Um, right. I'm also going to sleep powder that slot because... Oh, no, I don't sleep powder that slot. Um, What I actually do here is I sleep powder the right slot. And I go back into coal on the gambit. Because they should go gambit. They fake out this slot. I miss. That's incredible. Um, I should have speed investment on this Torkoal. It's dumb of me not to, because the Tailwind's actually really useful. I should have speed investment. That was dumb.
I'm not sure how much speed investment, but it's going to bite me in the butt now that I just missed that sleep powder. I do have the option to overheat. And I can encore the Incineroar. Just go for it. Sucker Punch. Encore. Come on. Land the overheat. Yeah, baby! Okay, we're still in this. We're still in this. We're still in this. Let me go ahead and click that, uh, that sleep powder. Click that sleep powder. And I'm gonna have to win with P2. We'll just overheat here. Get a little more damage. I missed the sleep powder. Let's try it again. <laughs> go for the, the heat wave. Keep on gambling. Let's go gambling. I mean, P2 solo is pre-marina anyways. I just have to get rid of Incineroar. Yeah, but uh, after game three, I'm definitely gonna put some speed investment on that Torkoal because that's actually really useful in the King Gambit matchup. All right. Keep doing that, buddy. Just in case. All right. You do. They do get the first turn wake, but I have Terra Blast and recover. Recover here. Terra Blast. And doesn't matter which one I click. I just have to not get crit. Yeah. Cool. And the speed investment means I go first. Cool. Uh into this. I like I said, like that bad stuff keeps happening. <laughs> bad stuff keeps happening. I think they're gonna go back to the Incinera lead. Um For that reason, my own King Gambit actually feels phenomenal in this matchup. I'm gonna lead off with it. And I'm also going to lead off with... I think King Gambit Torkoal is actually just super, super good. Jumpluff, Charizard. I'm not even going to bring the P2. I'm different. I, I have no fear. No P2, no fear. All right. There's Chomp. And this is exactly the lead I wanted. Exactly the lead I wanted, in fact. Uh, let me go for the double protect, because there's no reason not to. Just scout the move. And if they want to lock Rock Slide. Oops. <laughs> if they want to lock Rock Slide. Oops. But if they lock like Stomping Tantrum or Earthquake, I have a free Swords Dance this turn without burning Terra. And that also allows me to go into Jump Pluff and Tailwind. You go Terra Water. Let's see. Rock Slide or the Earthquake for today. Rock slide. Let uh swords dance for free. And jump bluff should always live choice band rock slide. It has a 50% chance to live dire claw. There's no way it doesn't live rock slide. I go prim, that's beautiful. I have sleep powder next turn. Or Tailwind, either one. Get that off. Um, I think Sleep Powder under Garchomp is probably my best play, and I can just Katow. I don't really need the Tailwind the more I think about it. Actually, what if I just Swords Dance again? Sleep Powder the left slot. You could say that was greedy. I disagree. I disagree. All right. Into Charizard. We now have Sucker Punch. And the uh, we have Sucker Punch Heat Wave. That'll always KO Garchomp. Mm, yeah, that's safe. Single target Heat Wave is very strong. If they don't get the first turn wake, I, I'm pretty sure I'm in a great spot. There we go. I also now have Sucker Punch into the Primarino, which I'm pretty sure from this range KOs. There's the Incin. We have Protect. And Heat Wave. 
Maybe I go Torkoal here. I go Torkoal now because I don't actually need the sun. And I don't want to get faked out. I stay asleep. <laughs> if my P2 was faster than them, I think my King Gambit should be. King Gambit's likely faster than them. I have a lot of speed investment. Helping Hand Katow is not bad. Actually, I'm pretty sure just Raw Katow does it. I'm at 3.5 now. I'll also go into Zard here because Sun late game is going to be good. Yeah. And they're probably just going to give me another boost. Now just KOs and things are looking pretty great, actually. Yeah, they forfeit. Nice. Okay, let's adjust that speed investment. Yeah, we're now at 1340. Oh, wait, we actually have pretty okay ladder. I thought we were at like the, the 1200s. I guess I misread it. I was looking at the regular ladder, not not the, the reg H best of three. Let's put some speed investment on this Torkoal. I'm not sure how much Joe had, but I think that it's probably for the best if I'm outspeeding. Um, I think hitting like 90 is good. You're going to outspeed a lot. Uh, let's hit like 95 because you're going to outspeed the majority of pre-marinas allowing you to overheat on them. So 95 would be like 40. Oh, just hit 50. I'll hit 100. That's that's whatever. Yeah. Okay. Go with the odd HP stat. Odd defenses. All right. Let's try that again. I mean, we did pretty decent and we're already like 20 minutes into the recording. So I'll get one more best of three and we'll see how we do. That took a while. Okay. Uh, Into this. P2 actually looks pretty phenomenal. Um, you know who else looks phenomenal? This 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 King Gambit? This King Gambit's pretty insane into this matchup the more I look at it. Uh, let's go ahead and lead off with you. And you. And you. And do I want the P2 or the jump bluff? I think into this matchup. Into this matchup, we get a lot more value out of jump bluff than P2. All right, that is phenomenal. I'm going to Swords Dance and Overheat. That's Overheat Prim. I want that damage. Actually, I can Overheat Grim Snarl because if I Swords Dance here, I'm not going to take too much damage from the Prim. And then I and then I get Jump Bluff in. Who can Sleep Powder? Yeah, I'll just Overheat you. Doesn't do too much because the Sun... Swords Dance, Overheat, Jump Bluff gets in. I now threaten Sleep Powder. Um, honestly, I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to get greedy. I'm going to Swords Dance again and Sleep Powder. All right, cool. Um, you want to see me do it again? You want to see me do it again? Katow Sleep Powder. Like, they can haze here, but if I... Oh, we get fully paralyzed. That's great. That's great! I love this game! I don't know why you foul played me in haze. That didn't make any sense. Um... Grim really isn't putting off a lot of damage here. I'm still going to Sleep Powder this thing. Well, actually, eh, let's just hit it. Nah, we'll double into it. I want it to stay asleep. Sleep Powder Grim. I will Swords Dance. I'm different. That's awesome! That's awesome. Ah... Uh... 
me do i want tailwind i don't need tailwind really oh that's so annoying bro all right Hazed again. I can encore it into haze. That sucks. Oh, great. Okay. No, we're forfeiting this game one. We're for dude. Bet can I can I just like play the game, bro? Can I like can I play the game, bro? That was a great lead for me. I thought that was like actually probably the best lead I could have gotten, and it got fumbled by RNG. Alright, cool. Um <sighs> okay. Jump love's still busted on lead. Um I'm gonna lead off with that guy this time. I, I still really like the King Gambit, but I can't lead it. I not after what just happened. That was so annoying. I also can't tear a dark because it's not worth it. Be powder overheat. And you know he's just gonna thunder wave me because like that's that's their out versus jump pluff is like thunder wave and just you know get all the full paras all right smart guy check this out i know he's about to do it i know he's about to thunder wave this slot i'm gonna heat wave Okay, well, I got lucky there. Finally, finally good stuff happened. Finally good stuff happened. <laughs> Dragonite, um... Their safety goggles is the issue. I can go Torkoal here. Sleep Powder right slot. Nice. Encore, overheat. Actually, I can encore go King Gambit. And they get the first turn wake too. Um, they're also a salt vest. Sweet powder swords dance. Yep, okay, cool. Get the Torkoal in. That's so annoying. I needed one more turn of sleep and I would have been fine. Um, please low kick. They don't low kick. They hazed. All right, nah, forfeiting. We're doing. We're doing one more. We're doing one more. I. I, I need. I need like good stuff to happen to me today. <laughs> I need good stuff to happen to me today. I'm like getting so goob by RNG. Like, I understand we're playing Sun, and that's, like, the name of the game. But, like, I'm not even, like, playing the game in some of these matchups. At least let me gamble, you know? Alright. Uh, is it Overcoat? It is Overcoat. That's awesome. They really don't like the P2. The P2 is actually quite frustrating for them. My Trick Room mode is pretty decent. I can probably lead off P2 and like win with the Ursaluna stuff. Uh, P2 Torkoal. Ursaluna and Gambit's really good. I'm gonna go immediately into the Ursaluna. Trying to think. Trick room protect.
Hair Ghost Facade Trick Room isn't a bad play. Getting rid of that guy early is going to be really nice. And I shouldn't take too much damage. I could also... Yeah, I just Facade here. Oh, they... Okay, that's awesome. Knock off. Uh, called out. Called out immediately. I'm getting goob today. I can't play the game. Um... From this position, like, I just, I, I, yeah, no, I don't beat the, I don't beat the Incineroar. We have to forfeit that first game. Try not to get cubed again. Uh, if they lead, if they want to lead off like that, Jump Bluff isn't bad. I really wanted to go Trick Room on them this game, but looks like it's not the play. Am I min speed or Saluna? I'm not. Oh, I'm I'm adamant. What am I doing? Honestly, maybe I shouldn't be min speed. Maybe I should like be like soft trick room. Like adamant 31. Probably not a bad idea. 70 speed. Yeah, I should probably do that. Since I have the uh, tailwind option in these games, um, into this jump luff is quite good. I can put. He can send to sleep immediately. Jump off King Gambit. Orkle Zard. Definitely a sleep powder angle. Um, go immediately Charizard, I think. Hopefully I don't get... <laughs> Hopefully I don't get immediately lucked here. They're going to body press. Let's go Torkoal. I'm going to click that Terrifier Heat Wave and just start hitting things. Because even if they Terrifier, that just puts them in... Um, that doesn't actually help them too much because they already resist the hit. Incineroar is not going to enjoy this, even though it's AV. They're going to get hit really hard. Torkoal gets switched out. I'm able to pressure it with Jump Luff because now uh, they have to decide if they want to keep their resistance or... I missed the Porygon too. Great. That's the thing I wanted to hit, actually. Go for the sleep powder, go for the heat wave. I get put to sleep, awesome. Um, oh, it's so annoying, I just wanted to hit the P2. I just wanted to hit the P2. Uh, okay. Leaf Storm heat wave is not terrible. I can get like some big damage here. They're gonna wake up, aren't they? Please stay asleep, they wake up. Uh, actually that's not, bad i can swords dance up here heat wave again end up in a position where i think i beat Kamo if i'm not bad at the game they're just gonna protect here so i go torkoal and swords dance again you always protect in this position Now I protect. I'm going to lose to you, aren't I? Actually, I might outspeed this Ursaluna. That's the funny thing. I could I could possibly outspeed the Ursaluna if they're minimum speed, but they're probably not. All right, please KO the Torkoal. Did not KO the Torkoal. Um, I need to just get in position where I can air slash this dude. They're probably not going to let that happen, are they? Well, I mean, Sucker Punch KOs here. I can get the Charizard in. But then I end up in a position where they just protect and win, I'm pretty sure. Because my Torkoal ends up hitting the field. So my play is actually probably just Sucker Punch Overheat. Okay, yeah. Uh, now it just comes down to landing an Air Slash. Helping an Air Slash should do it. Alright, there's no Solar Power, buddy. Okay, game three. <laughs> game three. There's definitely some adjustments I can make to this team. Um, I'm definitely starting to feel that. 
definitely starting to feel the uh the adjustments that need to be made uh definitely want porygon 2 though porygon 2 really don't want me to leave it at home last time uh we'll bring our jump pluff as well i honestly think that as much as king gambit carried that game it was exclusively because of the pressure being put off by literally every other pokemon on the team so i'm gonna go ahead and lead off with this guy they do the same lead i do have sleep powder pressure which is really really awesome we're gonna go torkoal or we're gonna go charizard and immediately sleep powder i'm actually gonna sleep powder the right slot i don't think they're gonna trick room Ooh, can i afford to do that i think that they're gonna switch out into kamoa is the thing because they can go kamoa and flare blitz me and that's like a huge issue and i'm just i just have to hard call that out Okay, I was wrong, but how wrong was I? Not wrong enough to feel the repercussions, baby. Let's click this thing. <laughs> Not wrong enough to feel the repercussions, baby. Let's one-shot this P2. This is gonna hurt, hurt. Brrr. Oh, it did not one shot, but, but they thunderbolted. So, you know, who really won this exchange? <laughs> uh, the last heat wave did 47% to the Incineroar. I'm just going to overheat. They stay asleep. I missed the overheat. That's awesome. That's awesome. Good news is I can overheat the left slot now. We're going to use gone. They protect. They're going to fake out that slot. I now have ice beam pressure. I go Torkoal here. And I Terra Blast. Ooh, they got me. Um... I need this chip damage. I can win with Heat Wave spam, but I need to chip that Kamo into range. Ah, did I lose? I could Scorching Sands maybe? It's a spread move, right? Uh, I kind of have to go for it, don't I? Oh, it's not a spread move. What am I saying? Why did I think it was a spread move? I definitely lock Heat Wave. And I missed the Kamo. Okay, we're getting owned. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, I still think we got some good games of this team. Even if we lost two out of the three best of threes, it was still worth checking out um i'm trying to think I, I think i just played pretty bad today all things considered um there was some bad luck there but if i had to adjust the team i'm thinking ursulina didn't really do much today i think i have to lean harder into the trick room or harder into the non-trick room so like if i drop anything i would probably be like ursulina for garchomp or um adjust the team to be a little bit more trick room oriented but yeah no this is fun just to test out what was our rating? What's our rating now after losing two of those games? 1303. Yeah, we'll see what we can do next time. If you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Uh just I don't know, just getting some unfiltered, unedited battles on the channel so you guys can see me like actually practice felt like a pretty decent idea for a little daily video. Anyways, have a nice one, guys.